Joining me today to dish up some stories is comedian, writer, and the amazing Chloe Illiard. <laughs> Yay, Chloe! Before being a comic goddess, yes. you were actually a journalist. I was. I did that for many years, and then I realized people don't read. And so I started talking to a microphone, and they listen. All right, let's get right into the news. Shall we dive in? Let's start in the UK, where the AP reports that five gray parrots had to be removed from their enclosure at the zoo for cursing at visitors. Yes. Good news, the naughty parrots weren't kicked out, but they were just separated because when they were together, they kept egging each other on. Chloe, what are your thoughts? Free the birds, okay? <laughs> you need to let them out. First of all, the zoo business is not what it once was, right? Uh -huh. And there are a lot of adults who don't have children, but they would love to go to a zoo where they can engage with cussing birds. I have to tell you, this was one of my favorite stories of the week. Can you just imagine like a boozy brunch at the zoo and you get cussed at by birds? <laughs> I would go in a hard no. <laughs> Zoos, call us. All right, <laughs> our next story is something I'm sure we've all noticed. Chloe, you know how sometimes like people in long-term relationships start to look alike? Mm. Even celebrities have it. Like, check out. I mean, they, these pictures say it all. Here's Seth Meyers and Alexi Ash. I mean, they, they look like, you know, mm. alike. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Steph and Aisha Curry. Absolutely. Just beautiful. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch and Sophie Hunter. Mm. They, yeah. Oh, Th these, this one, Dylan Sprouse and Barbara Paulvin. Creepy. It's like, it's crazy. They do look like brother and sister. Um, Jim Parsons and Todd Spiewak. Adorbs. It, it, they both adorable. I know. Like cousins. I know, so cute. <laughs> Pauletta and Denzel Washington. Yes. Well, okay, so Stanford University did a study and they say that the idea that couples start to look alike is really a myth mm. that really Yahoo Life reports that researchers found that if a couple looks alike, it's because they started out that way. Really? Yeah. And scientists are call it, uh, they call it assortive mating. And people are often attracted to people who look like themselves. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Uh oh. What do you think, Chloe? What does my future husband gonna look like? <laughs> I see it, I see it, I feel it. I'm like, you up? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what do you think of this? Just in time for Halloween, Dwell Magazine says the home of Buffalo Bill, the skin-wearing psychopath from the Silence of the Lambs, could be yours. Listed as a rare opportunity, the Queen Anne Victorium from the movie is listed for $298,500, and here's some of the photos of the property showcasing amazing wood accents, but curiously, no photos of the basement. Mm. I think that is the selling point. We are in a pandemic time. I want a house with a pre-made bunker. Show me the basement. All right, well, this is a weird story. The BBC uh, reports on a wellness trend mm. that came from the Dutch countryside, and it's called kook new felon, <laughs> and it means cow cuddling. Because when you cuddle a cow, it says that it really releases oxytocin, mm. even more than hugging a dog. And this is a new phenomenon. Chloe, thoughts? I wonder, does cow dunk smell better in the Dutch land than it does in America? Because I've smelled poo and I'm not hugging it. Cow poo is depleting the ozone. I was just gonna say, it's not good for the environment. Maybe we should <laughs> hug cows more than eat them. Hashtag Meatless Monday. Oh, oh okay. Go hug yeah, a cow. Ha hashtag Meatless Monday. But where do you hug them? Like around the neck, is it? Yes, around the neck. So you want, they want us to choke cows for our benefit. Yes, they okay. want us to like, we're all just supposed to cling to animals mm. right now because you know, the world is a tough place. So listen, you know what? I think we really just need each other. Yes. And at a Fix the distance, of course, but thank you, Chloe, so much for coming on Absolutely. the news. I'm so grateful that you're here. It is Thanks so for fun to me. play. Next time I'll bring a cow. I love it! <laughs>